Guy can't even have one clean shirt. Hey, welcome to Vice Grip Garage. We're gonna be tinkering on the service truck back here today and with the new tire noise and 319.7 exhaust leaks and two bad manifolds, a guy just can't hear nothing in the cab. To top it off, Merle Haggard box doesn't work. I've got no radio. So, Beats needs some Beats. I did the right thing and just got on Amazon and bought the cheapest radio that I could find. This one's got the CDs. No, it doesn't. Well, I guess she's just got blue teeth and the FM AMs. That's good enough. So we'll put that in today and see how she works. Well, here's everything a guy will need, I think. A little bit upset with myself because I thought a guy was getting a compact disc player because Beats has a tape player and now I got nothing. But here she is and that's the part number. So we got ultrasonic bass, we got the FM AM. Looks like she was built in South Dakota and she's even got auxiliary imports. So if you run her on a trans brake or NOS button, it'll do that. And then it's got the blue teeth, so you can just digital wave from your phone right in. That's probably what I'll have to do. Tool-wise, I got a mini torch for some reason, test light, a rusted stripper that doesn't work, but that's fine. And then this kit came off the eBay, and uh, apparently that's when we're gonna install that. I don't know. That does something. Lots of wires. I don't know why I have a power transformer back there, but it looks cool. And then just in case, the old standby Walmart kit. You know, there's so many wires under them, Dash. I better stay out of the whiskey today and just dial her down to some coffee creamer. It helps the guy focus and, you know, do good work. Well, the guy just realized I got a problem here. Definitely ain't fitting through there. And it's uh, just as bad on the back. So I guess you're gonna go uh, over with me. No idea how this is gonna work, but okay, that's wrong. This thing, I don't think you're blowing out. Oh, that worked, all right. Oh, okay, I'm getting there. All right, oh, there's my hat. I'll be dipped. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm, I should have another step over here. Right there, get my foot in the cylinder there. So bad. Here's the current situation. That noise seems way too loud. Anyway, beep boop boop up boop beep pop beep 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 nothing. And uh, I checked the lightning bulbs down there and they seem fine. And this doesn't work. I really wish it did. I got so many Clint Black tapes it would bottle your mind. So I think this comes out. And then that pocket goes in there. The guy can put his skull or whatever. And then that disc unit, let's go here. Cause I think the vents would probably, I don't know, those do something. Keep those. So I'm thinking we could start over here-ish and see how to get that out. Mainly because I'm scared of what this looks like behind there. I've never been in the dash of one of these here units, so this is going to be brand new to me. Found my torch set. Put the seat in a Tupac mode there so I can move around in here a little bit better. Maybe. Oh. Here we go. So, start over here. And uh, I don't know, that seems wrong, but I'll just go with it. I don't know how these, is there screws in them? Or you just kind of, there we go. And that seems to be fastened in. Ooh, DOI removers, that's good. That's paperwork. Yeah, Look at that. We got the dang old dealer book. 
Chevy pickup. Problem is though, she ain't a 92, so that's fake news. Some other junk, Minnesota. Explore Minnesota, nothing to see here. Don't come here. Um, I don't know what that is. Just a bunch of other old junk. What is that? Oh, Tums from the 80s, nice. I think, I don't know what to do with that now. I just, I think you just let it sit like that. Well, it's about four days later, give or take four days. I got her out, and that's not, I mean, it's, if you're a big guy, getting out of there, it's not fun, so I'm gonna show you where that is. There's a computer box machine up in here. This guy right here, and that's where your tape player and your, I don't know, the button pusher side of it click in. And I guess maybe those just go bad on a guy. And uh, not necessarily the bleep blooper up here, but I don't know. I think the guy's winning. I just kind of smashed that down, got that bolt screw thing out. Then I did the old grab and snag. You just reach up in there and just, you know, I think I missed a couple. But anyway, she's down. And I think this is what I'm after over here. Cause you got all the jute box speaker machine wires. There should be a power, maybe a ground in there. <sighs> but I think this is, well, I hope that's the radio. I think it is. Well, that turned out all right for a guy. This here plastic clippy do hab. They only go in one way, so I can't mess that up. But now a feller's in a pickle because the guy's got to get this all the way up through here, back over there, and I look to be a little bit short in the old wire department. So I think they're telling a guy to rewire it, kind of reroute it over that way, I guess. Well, here's how she's sitting, and you could definitely tell we got a professional installation going on in here. And Guy finally got the wires up over in here, and I tell you what, guy's mitts just can't... You gotta lay on your side and snip up from the bottom and snag your other in there and meet them in the middle and drag and pull. But I got her, and then I got her all laid out over here. This is a tape deck. She even had auto reverse on her. Found 14 cents in there. That's the old, I don't know, internet says they're called head units, whatever that means. And the great news is these are completely wrong in color. So, being I drive this daily, I better do the right thing and just stick her in just like that. Got to figure out how to get these vents out. I think I just pry on them, snip them into there. But right now, let's let's open this bad boy up. Oh, she's even got multicolor on her. Is that the brand name? About bit. Wow. Back in the day, I had one of them there stereos with the handle. You'd just eject the whole unit and, you know, you'd carry her around with you. All right, so this got some more wires in here. Ah, these must plug into the other wires. What in the devil? Okay, she's got a remote on her. I don't, what? Listen, listen, if, if you can't even reach up and go boop on your radio, just stop. You need to just, we'll test it though. And then, oh, there's zero weight to this guy. That's like three ounces maybe. I don't know. For you Canadians, it's like 19 kilos, I think. Wow, yeah, she's, she's real high quality. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I think now we gotta jam it into that first, and then we, nope, that's wrong. This gets jammed on, then you snag the wires in, then you <whistles> right on in. That's a good one. Well, the guy's got this dialed in. I tell you what, there's little clip spring thingies in here, and for a filler that can only feel one hand, the other one's a pork line. That's, I mean, that took about four months. And then the frame to the old jukebox is in here. So I think I can snip this on in a second, but first I'm gonna get all these wires done. I got these sides kinda shaped up, and then, you know, I gotta do the other side. This is gonna take forever. What is down here? Just trying to get some Get some room in here. Just a guy can't even move. <sighs> That's better. Blood pressure's way too high. Do I just start hooking these in? I don't know. I think it's color for color, but they just they seem too long. Why is there 14 blacks in here? I mean, if you're gonna make colors, just get them. You know, one. Oh, never mind. That's just the old. That's just the old peepers getting bad. Apparently purple looks black to me, which is, that's, that's fine. You just, it'll self-heal. Guy's finally done with this and I only burnt my hand about 58 times. Now it's time to, you know, kind of just, we put that in there. And then we snip the Merle Haggard box in and we're almost done. Oh yeah, gotta, you know, we take care of this. Put that pocket thing in and then we're done. Well, you can go on ahead and call a guy crazy, but while I'm in here, I smeared all the dirt around in there, made it worse. And then I kind of cleaned this lens up a little bit, scratched it up more, but hopefully it's a little better because, you know, I just, I couldn't see nothing through there. Okay, yeah. Is this just, I think it does just kind of press in there. Which seems weird. Oh yeah, these colors, they, this is a real close match. Get, go up, get in there. Okay, yep, there we go. Oh, I forgot the old, yeah, we gotta get this in here too though, I think. I missed that step. Uh-oh, that sounded like a new breaking sound. Okay, yeah, and then that, does that just hang in there like that? That doesn't seem like a good, very good design. doesn't even come close to matching. Perfect. Looking like this here unit kind of snips in here next. Same bolt holes, of course. I don't know, put some stuff in there. See, we got a lip on her so it doesn't shoot out at you. I just, where did that go? Can you believe people do this for a living? I just, there goes my bit thing. <sighs> All right, easy. Easy, got her. Get in there, yeah, yeah. I think we're kind of getting in the home stretch now. That's that's cross threaded, but you you just keep working them in, and they'll eventually bite something. More screws holding in this cubby than the whole dash bezel. That's fine. That's a that's a good design. Alright, now we bring this down in here, you know, trim her out and whatnot. Oh, oh that's busted. Okay, bend it. You bend, twist. That's gonna, something's gonna break in here. That doesn't seem right. Why is that shooting sparks? Is this, oh, it is bent. Well, I'll just ruin my uh, light switch thing. I wonder if I can just kind of ease it back in here. There we go. And then, yep. Okay. I don't understand. There we go. That's definitely 
not right over there, but that's okay. That's easy. It's a piece of cake. Oh, now I need my Ninja Star fitting. Where did I put that now? Over here. I think there's only two of these that actually hold anything. The other ones kind of just float, you know, they just, they're more of a decora, you know, for the looks, but that's fine. All right. Boy, she's looking, I mean, this is, it's snazzy. Kind of feel like I better wipe the column down now because it's getting so nice in here. Yeah, there we go. Nope, that's a bad idea. You know, my guy's really liking how that clearly doesn't match anything anywhere. And also how this just blends right in. You know, you can't even tell that that's not factory. So overall, I think we're doing pretty dang good. We just got to plug this unit in now and that's it. Boop, boop. Yep. You know, a guy would probably normally check all the wiring before you reinstall the entire dash, but you want to make it extremely difficult if you got to redo everything. So just put her all back together and pray. Get in here. What what do you got? What is this? Get go on get in there. Ah, that doesn't feel right at all. And uh this one goes there. And this one goes there. There we go. Ease it in. Easy. Yeah. Bunch of snapping noises. I think that's I think that's normal. There. Uh, let's go ahead and test on this little girl. And you know I can't I can't reach it. Thank goodness I got this remote. Got power, and blue lights. Got my phone hooked up, and an auto magically selected. Uh, aux in. Hit the play button. Yeah, that works. Oh, I think I just threw out my D4. Let's try the uh, equalizer out. That's off. Flap. Sounds flat. Rock. Pop, that's junk. Classic, that's pretty good. Sounds really bad, basically, but I think a lot of that's my speakers. Uh, mute works. Volume, I don't know. Try a different song, I guess. That banjo is a shoot lightning bolts down your spine. I don't know if we could be friends, honestly. That's pretty good. One last test. You gotta make sure you can hear it when you're coming down the highway, you know. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably good enough. Where's the box? Oh, here it is. Oh. Oops. Forgot whatever this was. Anyway, I don't know. 23 bucks. Brings you into the here and now. Gets rid of this old stuff. It's not so bad. I mean, it is what it is. I don't think it'll run them there boom booms. You got those, you know, speakers the size of semi wheels. I don't think she's designed for that, but she got a beat around rig. Seems to work just fine. I'll check in with you guys in a couple months and let you know if it's still working. Probably not. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it. 
Hit the subscribe button, that little bell thing down there. Still haven't figured out what that does, but it's something. Thanks for watching.